the Customer Profile is the Outcomes tab. This helps you determine things that have been accomplished for your customer. There is a grid at the top, very similar to the Overview page, that shows the actions that are required and whether they have been completed or not. And then below that are tabs where the items can be addressed. For example, under the Services drop-down, we have a spot where you can add a service. You can filter for service start and end dates and what type of service you want to filter for. We have all of the services that are available. If you edit this, it will take you to the career plan view of that item. And then we have the goals for the customer and what steps are associated under the goal and whether or not they've been started, etc. On the goals drop down, we have a spot where you can add goal statements. This is also very similar to the career plan. These items were all added through the customer's career plan, but if you want to add another goal statement right now, then you can do that. It will add it to the list. You can add planned services, you can edit the goal. The next piece is measurable skills gains. On here we can look for the skill type. We have five different skill types that are associated with this program. We can look for the program year and we can filter with a start date or an end date. If you want to look at the different types of skills gains that you can add, click on the blue button that says add measurable skills gain. By clicking on the radio button for that type of skill, you see the directions for what needs to be added or what needs to be accomplished to get that measurable skill. Post-secondary, what are the options? What did they obtain? You would need to upload a document for this one. Post-secondary, same thing, you can check a radio button. What is the objective here? Upload. When did they attain it? Any comment about that? And then save. For each of the items, you want to save them. And then training milestone, upload a document, date attained, comment about it, save it. And last, skills, progression, diploma, certificate degree, answer the radio buttons, date attained, upload a document on the uploads tab, save. Earned credentials are in association with the steps that you add to a customer, or you can add a credential from this page. What's the title of the credential? You would fill in all of the information with the red asterisks, and then do they have experience in the field in which they were trained? You answer yes or no, click save, and then the credential shows in the list. Success stories are where you would tell a success about that client. If you click on the add success story, it takes you to the success story guide where you can enter it as a service provider or share the link and have the participant share their own story. To exit a customer, you have to have all of these check boxes checked and make sure that they are all there. Once those are all checked and available, you will have a drop in, open up to tell you what the next steps are. For employment, we want to add employment after the completion of a pre-apprenticeship training or an apprenticeship program where they start. That add employment has a number of items that you need to complete. You want to fill in all of those items and then click save. And then for follow-up, it will tell you that you need to add follow-up case notes. These can be done periodically. We suggest at least every 30 days you want to check in with your customer and add a follow-up case note.